Hi, I'm Mrs. Val, and I'm going to show you how to make some very simple, very cool 3D origami. Let's get started. You need one perfectly square piece of paper, construction paper, printer paper, origami paper. Be ready to fold it in half. Unfold each half and fold the sides into that line that you just made through the center. Now, unfold each side. And you're going to take one corner and fold it diagonally to the other edge. Fold the opposite corner in the opposite way. So maybe the top left goes down. And that will work the same on both sides. Unfold it. And you want to tuck in those little corners you just made with the fold line. And then tuck in the larger triangle into the long rectangular flap. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Fold each triangle backwards so that you see two triangles overlapping with the central square. The triangles will go together so that the diagonals touch. These are going to become your flaps to connect this piece to all of the other pieces. Now let's see how to put two pieces together for a team of two people. You're going to have two identical pieces because everyone made the same shape out of one piece of paper. One triangular corner tucks into the pocket of the other square. Flip it over, and your other triangular corners become like arms that wrap around and tuck into the opposite pocket. Pretty simple. Now let's see how to get three pieces to connect together. This is going to be a little more tricky because you're going to create a three-dimensional shape instead of a flat shape out of your three team member pieces. Notice they should all look the same and be in the same orientation. So you can see how the fold side all faces up. You need to find the pockets again, and you're going to start out the same way with one corner going into one side pocket. Then see how this kind of bows up to create a pyramid? That's the shape we're trying to make with a third piece. Find your corner triangle piece and tuck it in to a second one. You should have one triangle flap left to complete the pyramid. See the pyramid in the middle and how the other triangular flaps stick out from the sides. Now you're going to try and create the pyramid again in a way that covers that opening. So fold those pieces back. Each triangle goes into another pocket. To complete the shape, this is called the hexahedron because there are six flat faces. Now you have three people joined as a team. All of the pieces that we're going to put together to create different forms can be gently undone so that you can switch groups, change teams, or just dissolve your team. Now using four pieces is going to be very simple. We're going to make what's called a pinwheel. So every corner will fit into a different piece in the same way we've been doing. The triangles fit into the triangular pockets. Except this time we're not going to make any extra folds. The pieces will connect from the center. Imagine all four squares being lined up to make one larger square. And then you have some triangle flaps that stick out from the side. Very simple. Making sure that all four connect 
By tucking them into the pockets, we'll hold it together for you while you're working. We don't have a form for a five-person team, but a six-person table could make a cube. You're going to notice how each square center piece of your individual origami paper creates a square, and each one of those squares will become a face on a six-sided cube. Notice the triangular flaps should not overlap each other or one will be hiding in the background and it won't be able to be used to connect every face of the shape. So you want to make sure that the two pieces you're overlapping are turned in different directions so that every flap stays free and open to be connected to something else. I've just made three sides of this cube. Connect the fourth side in a way that it goes around like a band. You have four sides of a box. It'll be a little confusing at first, so just keep turning the papers until it looks right. When you get your four faces, you should have two open sides on either end, like a top and a bottom. We'll start with the top. Figure out which way your piece should go to make sense. You want to make sure those triangle flaps can tuck into the pocket. And then tuck in any extra flaps by bending them around the other faces. Flip it over and we'll do the bottom. You're going to do the same thing again, tucking in those triangles into every pocket. If you try several of these different forms, you're going to get very good at figuring out how to adjust the shape, how to turn the pieces, how to bend and fold the pieces to get them in the right place. Tighten it up by pinching the edges, squeezing it together a little bit. You've got a six-person team. class is up for a challenge, you can try to put 30 pieces together to represent your whole class. This is another version of a polyhedron, and I'm not going to show you how to make the whole thing because it takes a little while and you'll need some time to figure it out, but I will point out a few clues. Just as in the three-piece form we made pyramids, you're going to notice there are several pyramids connected and sticking out in this polyhedron. Every base of the polyhedron is made of five pyramids, so you want to get five pyramids together. Three pieces for each pyramid, that's already 15 pieces, so that will create half of this polyhedron. And then you're going to be adding on the other pieces gradually as you go around and trying to figure out how to continue making this pattern of pyramids. They connect each side and again you'll just use those triangle flaps to tuck into other pockets so good luck